everyone! In this video, we are going to introduce you to an easy and fun way of coding with Pictoblox, a graphical programming software. First, we are going to see what Pictoblox is and what you can do with it. Then, we are going to explore its UI and finally, we'll write a script to make our sprite Toby move. Let's begin. Pictoblox is a graphical programming software based on scratch blocks. Its user-friendly interface and drag-and-drop functionality makes programming fun and interactive. You can make games, animations, control robots and even program prototyping boards like Arduino Uno, Mega, ESP32 and Evive. I hope you already have Pictoblox installed on your computer. If not, pause the video here, download Pictoblox from the link given below in the description box, install it, play the video once you are done. Now, let's have a quick look at its user interface. There's a purple colored menu bar at the top with several buttons. The white space on the right is called the stage, the area where the sprite performs action according to your code. A sprite is nothing but an object or a character that performs different actions in the project. The bear standing in the stage is a sprite. On the left is the block palette. It consists of different palettes under the code tab. Each palette consists of blocks that are used for writing scripts in the scripting area. Scripts are the program that we write. Now, to understand each element, we are going to write a small script to make the Toby move. First, let's make the stage more lively. We can do that by changing the backdrop. To change the backdrop, click on the purple button at the bottom of the stage palette called the Choose a Backdrop button. As you can see, there are four ways to change the backdrop. The first one is to choose a backdrop from Pictoblox library. The second one to paint one the way you like it. The next option surprises you by randomly generating a backdrop for you. Last is choosing any picture from your computer. Right now, we'll choose a backdrop from the library. Open the library and choose a backdrop of your choice. We are going for forest. As soon as you click on the desired backdrop, the white background of the stage is replaced by the image. The small card in the stage palette shows recently selected backdrop and the total number of backdrops that we have used. Now that the stage is all set, let's create the script to make the Toby move. Select Toby from the sprite palette. Since we want to make Toby move, we are going to use blocks from the motion palette. Go to the palette and drag and drop the Move Steps block in the scripting area. This block will make Toby move the number of steps you enter in the white space. Write 5 in the space given. Click on the block. You will see Toby move 5 steps forward. Now, to make Toby move continuously, we are going to use the Forever block. Open the control palette and drag and drop the Forever block around the Move block. Now, click on the script. You will notice that the Toby is now moving continuously. However, after some time, he moves out of sight. To avoid this from happening, we'll change his direction as soon as he reaches the edge of the stage. For this, we'll use the if on edge bounce block from the motion palette. You'll notice that now Toby bounces off the edge as he reaches but turns upside down. To make sure that Toby does not turn upside down, drag and drop the set rotation style block below the bounce block and select left right from the drop down. Now run the script. Now everything's perfect. Well, almost perfect. Stop the script by clicking on the stop button. Toby is moving too fast. To slow him down, drag and drop the weight block from the control palette below the set rotation style block and write point 1 in the white space. Now, you might have noticed that so far, we have had to click on the script every time to run it. Instead of having to click it manually, there's something else we can use, a head block. A head block is a block with a bump at its top and is used to start a script based on a predefined condition. Go to the events palette and drag and drop the when flat clicked head block above the forever block. Now, you may notice that when you stop the script and restart it, Toby starts moving from where he stopped. To make him start moving from a particular point every time you run a script, drag and drop the go to xy block from the motion palette above the forever block. 
we are placing it here because we want Toby to reach the starting position before he starts moving. Next, enter the coordinates from where you want Toby to start moving and run the script again. In our case, we are using 0 in X and minus 110 in Y. Now, Toby is moving, but it does not quite look lifelike. Let's write another script to make Toby actually look like he's walking. Switch to the costume tab. It's right next to the code tab. You'll see that there are four costumes. And if we switch between these two costumes, that is walking one and walking two continuously, it will make Toby look like he's walking. Switch back to the code tab for writing the script. Since we are working on Toby's look, we are going to use blocks from the looks palette. Drag and drop the switch costume 2 block into the scripting area. Select Toby walking 1 from the drop down. Duplicate the switch costume 2 block. Select Toby walking 2 from the drop down of the second block. Add a weight block with a delay of 0.2 seconds below each switch costume 2 block and stack all the blocks together. Add a forever block to run the script forever. Finally, Add the when flag clicked hat block above the script and run the script. Since both these scripts have the same hat block, they'll run together whenever we click on the flag. You can go full screen by clicking on this button. Now click on the flag button. You can create as many animations as you want to using picture blocks like this. That's it for this video. In the next video, we'll see how to interact with hardware in real time and also interact with sprites using the hardware. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And for more such engaging videos, subscribe to STEMpedia and follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Bye-bye!